October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and this is a reminder to prioritize personal breast health for yourself and loved ones. News 8's Teresa Sardina visited the Susan G. Komen Foundation in Kearney Mesa to find out how the nonprofit is taking action to bring awareness. The Susan G. Komen team says just because there's a pandemic, it doesn't mean that breast cancer care should be put on the back burner. The breast cancer awareness events are still taking place, and it's important to take action on breast health this month. So six women a day here in San Diego are diagnosed with breast cancer, and unfortunately one woman a day here in the county passes away from breast cancer. Meredith Hall Chan of Susan G. Komen San Diego is encouraging San Diegans to look into their breast health. Know what's normal for you as a woman um, and even as a man because men can get breast cancer too. If you're noticing changes in your breasts, you're not feeling well, go and see your doctor, get screened, knowing their family history. She says the COVID-19 pandemic has caused an increase in requests for financial assistance from Komen San Diego. Screening appointments have also been pushed back. Yeah, you did it. The Race for the Cure November 1st will be virtual and free for the first time ever. The organization is encouraging San Diegans to race where they are, completing their one mile or 5K walk wherever is safe and convenient. Pink out your car on Monday, October 5th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Come in San Diego headquarters in Kearney Mesa is hosting a drive through event. Many San Diegans need the support more than ever. My breast was really itchy and I found a lump and so I went and then they did a biopsy and that's when they told me it was breast cancer. 56 year old breast cancer survivor Lisa Barraza was diagnosed with aggressive stage three breast cancer in 2017 and again in 2019. She had lip nodes removed and a double mastectomy and chemotherapy. It was difficult for Barraza to work and process all the physical changes. She says Coleman provided financial assistance and free groceries through its food program during the pandemic. Chand says it's the community involvement, outreach and events that allows Komen to help those affected by breast cancer. Chand, president and CEO of Komen San Diego, says each year Race for the Cure raises over one million dollars. We'll have the event information at CBS8.com. I'll send it back to you in the studio. And News 8 has been a longtime supporter of this Komen San Diego Race for the Cure. Again, the virtual race is November 1st, and her very own Barbara Lee Edwards will host the virtual race. She has served as a Komen MC for more than a decade now.